welcome everyone here in the previous class we have seen what are that is amino acids we have seen what are lipids we have also seen what are nucleic acids made up of here nucleic a uh, little more explanation about those nucleic acids nucleic acids are nothing but these are the polymers these are the polymers of nucleotides in the previous class we have seen that we have seen that sugar that is nitrogenous base when it combines with sugar it is called a nucleoside it is called a nucleoside and to this nucleoside that is nitrogenous base and sugar if one more substance is added that is phosphate if one more substance is added then these three together that is nitrogenous base sugar if only two things are there and it is a nucleoside then if it is having phosphate attached to it then it is the third one attached to it then we call it as nucleotide okay a nucleotide is a combination of nitrogenous base sugar and a phosphate okay this is one nucleotide so one nucleotide so like this second nucleotide third nucleotide fourth fifth all these will be combined these nucleotides will combine for example this is one nucleotide it is combined with another it is combined with another it is combined with another a long chain of nucleotides is formed a long chain of nucleotide is formed if i see this nucleotide it consists of sugar nitrogenous base and phosphate sugar nitrogenous base phosphate sugar nitrogenous base phosphate so here if these three things combine it is called as nucleotide if one nucleotide is joined with another nucleotide okay so like this a chain of nucleotides is formed this chain of nucleotide is called as nucleic acid this chain of nucleotide is called as nucleic acid and we have two nucleic acids two type of nucleic acid one is dna and another is rna we have two types of nucleic acids two types of nucleic acids can be found in the bodies of living organisms that is one is dna another is rna both those dna that is both of them are genetic material both of them are genetic material both of these nucleic acids will be present in the bodies of living organism but out of these two only one will be acting as the genetic material other will help in a different function for example in our body dna is the genetic material we have both rna as well as dna in our bodies but here the dna is the genetic material and rna help in the synthesis of proteins in our body okay so this is the genetic material this will be helping in the synthesis of proteins i said you we have four um, that is nitrogenous bases that is adenine guanine cytosine and thymine and i have also written uracil so these are the nitrogenous bases so in dna if dna is there if dna is the nucleic acid then this dna is made up of this adenine guanine cytosine and thymine okay this dna is made up of adenine guanine cytosine and thymine okay so this is one nucleotide it consists of adenine plus sugar plus phosphate it consists of guanine plus sugar plus phosphate it consists of uh, cytosine plus sugar plus phosphate that is thymine plus sugar plus phosphate so these four nucleotides will join together these four nucleotides will join together and form dna these four nucleotides will join together and form the dna adenine always pairs with guanine cytosine always pairs with thymine a always pairs with g 
that is adenine always combines pairs with G and cytosine always combines with thymine in DNA. So DNA is the genetic that is nucleic acid which has adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine as the nitrogenous basis. But in RNA instead of this thymine uracil will be present. In RNA instead of thymine uracil will, present, will be present. So RNA will be consisting of adenine, guanine, cytosine and uracil. The only difference here is in this thymine and uracil. If thymine is present then it will be DNA along with this three if thymine is present then it is making the DNA that is genetic nucleic acid is DNA. If instead of thymine if uracil is present then it is RNA it makes RNA both DNA and RNA are nucleic acids ok. So these nucleic acids are polymers of nucleotides polymers of nucleotides amino acids join together and form proteins ok amino acids join together and form proteins so here carbohydrates join together they form polysaccharides that is monosaccharides will join together they will be forming the polysaccharides that is sugars will be there so in the similar manner nucleotides will join together and form the nucleic acid and form the nucleic acid. So these are all the biomolecules like amino acid, like lipids, like nucleotides. These are all the biomolecules, sugars, amino acids, nucleotides, there's a lipids, all of these are the biomolecules. These biomolecules are also called as metabolites. Those biomolecules are also called as metabolites. The biomolecules such as amino acid, lipids and that is nucleotides, sugars all of these are called as are also called as metabolites. Okay. So these metabolites, these metabolites like this are that is nucleic, nucleotides, amino acid, lipids these are all present in the animal cell. In animals we find all these biomolecules. In animals we find all these biomolecules. So these biomolecules are also called as metabolites. In the other way here these metabolites such as amino acid, lipids, uh, nucle nucleotides all of these are present in animals in animals and in human beings ok. These are also present in the plants what here these biomolecules what are the biomolecules that is biomolecules such as amino acid, amino acid, lipids ok, nucleotides then we have the sugars so monosaccharides all of these are called as biomolecules and they are also called as metabolites another name is also given it is called as metabolites all these three all these things are present in both plants and animals and as well as human beings these amino acids lipids nucleotides sugars all of these are present in each and every living organism whether it is a plant or whether it is an animal or whether it is a human being all these things are present in all the living organisms so that is why these are called as primary metabolites these are called as primary metabolites I said you these biomolecules such as amino acids lipids nucleotides and all these are also called as metabolites and these metabolites are present in plants as well as animals as well as humans. So these are called as primary metabolites. I said you biomolecules are also called as metabolites ok and these metabolites they are present definitely present in each and every living organisms. These are called as primary metabolites ok primary metabolites but in plants 
but in plants apart from this primary metabolites that is apart from amino acids lipids nucleotides sugars and all apart from them the plants also have other come other bio, that is bio molecules apart from apart from all these things all those bio molecules are primary metabolites the plants the only one the plants will have other compounds other bio molecules or other metabolites are also present in them okay so such metabolites are called as secondary metabolites secondary metabolites and these secondary metabolites they are present only and only in plants in plants we find amino acid in animals also we find amino acid in human beings also we find amino acid in plants nucleotides are present in animals nucleotides are present in human beings nucleotides are present same with the lipids in plants also it is present in animals also it is present in human beings also it is present but apart from these things is here the difference is in the plants apart from these metabolites or the primary metabolites plants also has few different products few different products which we don't find in animals or human beings like gum do we find gum in our body no we find gums in the plants like alkaloids are there apart from these things here the plants also have alkaloids alkaloids the plants also have resins the plants also have gums the plants also have oils aromatic oils edible oils will be present are those present in our body no so here apart from this these things are present in all those things okay but apart from these things plants also have certain other substances such as alkaloids resins gums oils uh, there are many things other things which are present so these are present only and only in plants these things are not found in animals or human beings they are present only and only in plants so these bio molecules which are present only in plants which cannot be seen in animals or human beings those are called as secondary metabolites those are called as secondary metabolites primary metabolites are nothing but the metabolites which are present in all the living organisms whether it is animals whether it is human beings or whether it is plants but secondary metabolites are nothing but the compounds which are present in plants only in plants apart from this amino acids lipids and nucleotides other bio molecules some extra bio molecules are also present in plants those extra bio molecules they are called as secondary metabolites till now we don't know the use of metabolites to these plants plants will be producing these things but how what is the use of these things to this plants why plants are producing them we don't know we know the use of amino acid we know the use of lipids we know the use of nucleotides why they are present in our body in the body of animals in the body of human beings in the body of plants why they are present we know that function but there are certain other things which are present inside the bodies of the plants only plants which are called as secondary metabolites and till now we don't know the function of them why they are produced we don't know the function but these things are very very useful for the animals and human beings especially the human beings like oils gums resins alkaloids alkaloids are used to treat the diseases gum resins for paints varnishes and all those re- gums we use for as adhesive oils we use oil as edible oil and for the different purposes we use it so it is of great use to human beings these secondary metabolites are great use to human beings but till now we don't know what is the use of these substances to the plants why they are producing they are producing it but why they are producing what is the function to them what is the use of production of these substances to them is not known but these are useful for human beings 
specially. So those are the primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. Now coming to this, here we have seen in the very first video, we have seen that when we did this chemical analysis, elemental analysis, we have taken one substance that is one moly, uh, one substance whether it is a leaf or a, that is uh, liver or some sub substance, we have taken a substance in order to check what is present in that substance. We have taken that substance and we have grind it in trichloroacetic acid. When we have grinded it, we have got a filtrate and retentate. Okay, the filtrate is called as the acid soluble pool and the retentate was called as the acid insoluble pool. Okay, in acid soluble pool, the substances which are present in acid soluble pool, they are of the molecular weight 18 Daltons to 1800, uh, sorry 800 Daltons. The molecular weight of the substances which are present in the filtrate or in the acid soluble pool. If you don't remember, go to go, go with this, uh, go through the first video, you will be able to understand. In the acid soluble pool, for example, we have taken a substance and we have put it in trichloroacetic acid. We have put it in acid and we have grinded. Okay, but after this grinding. When we have taken a cloth or some filter, filter it. So here when we filter this, taking a funnel or a cloth or something. So here some substance passed through this funnel and entered here and some substance was retained in the filter itself. Some substance was retained in the filter itself. So now the substance which has passed from this, this is called as acid soluble pool okay or we can even call as filtrate and this is called as retentate the leftover or which is also called as acid insoluble it is called as acid insoluble pool okay now the substances which are present in this acid soluble pool they are of low molecular weight the molecular weight can be from 18 daltons to 800 Daltons. It is of very low molecular weight. Okay, and here the substance which has been retained in this filter, retained by this filter, these have more than molecular weight more than 10,000 Daltons. These have molecular weight more than 10,000 Daltons. Okay, this molecular weight is less than 800 Daltons. In this, whatever the substances are present, so in this we get amino acid, in this we get lip, uh, nucleotides and all, but the amino molecular weight of them is very less, it is below 800 Daltons, okay. And here in this, the molecular weight is more than 10,000 Daltons. In this we find, in this acid insoluble pool, this is acid insoluble pool, in this acid insoluble pool, which is also called as retentate, we find proteins, we find nucleic acid, we find polysaccharides, we find lipids, we find lipids. So here in this acid soluble pool, we find amino acid, amino acid, we find nucleotides, monosaccharides. So all the substances are present in, in this acid soluble pool and all those will have less than 800 Daltons weight and these have more than 10,000 or more than 10,000 Daltons of molecular weight. Okay, so based on the molecular weight, based on this filtrate and retentate, these biomolecules, they are classified under two types. They are classified as two types, bio micromolecules, bio macromolecules, bio molecules based on their molecular weight, bio molecules based on their molecular weight, they are classified as of two types, bio micromolecules and bio macromolecules, bio micromolecules and bio macromolecules. These micromolecules, they have weight less than 800 Daltons. 
okay they have weight less than 800 dalton so these ones the molecules which have biomolecules which have molecular weight less than 800 daltons then these are called as bio micro molecules and those who have weight more than 10000 dal daltons 10000 daltons okay those ones these have more than 10000 daltons molecular weight these those are called as bio macro molecule bio same here but here these are micro means small molecules which have molecules which have smaller molecular weight which has that is the molecular weight is less than 800 daltons so here in bio macro molecules these are the bigger molecules which have higher molecular weight that is more than 10000 daltons here in this now these are these biomolecules are polymeric in nature this biomolecules are made up of this combination of the small small bio micro molecules these bio micro molecules for example amino acid is a bio micro molecule so like this amino acid plus amino acid they combine and form a very long chain that is called as protein protein is a bio macro molecule these small small molecules combine together and make a very big chain okay very big chain then those are called as that chain of those small small molecules then it is called as bio macro molecule that is why we say it is polymeric that is small small substances are joining together and making a very big compound so that is called as polymeric here in this the lipids the lipids have molecular weight less than that is 800 daltons the lipids have molecular weight less than 800 daltons but still they are in the acid infiltrate the substances which are present in acid sorry uh, that is acid uh, in that uh, the substance which is present in acid insoluble pool here the period where are the lipids present lipids have molecular weight less than 800 daltons so it should be present here now in the acid soluble pool because these have less than 800 dalton weight but lipids are not present here lipids are present in acid insoluble pool even though they are having less molecular weight but still they are present in the acid insoluble pool why is it so why despite having less molecular weight they are present in this acid fil uh, acid insoluble filtrate why because here the protein the lipids are present in the form of lipids also but those lipids are present are also present uh, inside the cell structure the lipids are also present in cell structure i already said you the lipids are also that is cell membrane will have lipids the cell membrane has lipids so when we grind it when we grind the cell membrane because if we grind a substance the cell membrane of that substance will be grinded the cell membrane of the cells will be grinded so when it is grinded the structure will be totally damaged so when we grind this now when we grind this so what happens the lipids will be broken when that is we said that lipids are present in the lipid form also and in the normal form also and they are embedded inside the cell structure so when we uh, grind it the cell structure will be totally broken okay when the cell structure broken what happens is the lipids which is present inside the cell structure they changes into vesicles small small bag like structures they changes into small small bag like structures and these vesicles are insoluble in water i already said you when i was explaining the lipids lipids are insoluble in water so here when it is broken by grinding it becomes it takes the shape of the vesicles those lipids take the shapes of those vesicles and these lipids are insoluble in water so that is why they are present inside the, in the form of vesicles they will be 
retained inside the acid insoluble pool so that is why they are present in macromolecular fraction fraction means here too this is the micromolecular fraction that is in this fraction in this rate uh, filtrate micromolecules are present in this macromolecules are present that is why because of the formation of this vesicles and because of this insoluble in water these lipids they does not go in the acid soluble pool but they will be present in the acid insoluble pool this acid insoluble pool is nothing but it is made up of bio macro molecules okay and here in this acid soluble pool for example if this is a cell inside the cell cytoplasm will be present and many organelles will be present like nucleus will be there mitochondria will be there uh, vacuoles will be there cyto uh, golgi complex will be there endoplasmic reticulum will be there these are the different organelles okay so here the cytoplasm the cytoplasm the liquid which is present it becomes the solid acid soluble pool so acid soluble pool will be made up of cytoplasmic composition if we break the cell the cyto the liquid will become the acid soluble pool and these a little liquid along with this organelles along with this organelles it becomes the acid insoluble pool it becomes acid insoluble pools so this was about this bio that is bio molecules which is of two types in the next class we will study in detail about this bio macro molecules micro molecules we have already studied about this amino acid we have already studied about lipids we have already studied about nucleotides now we will study about bio macro molecules how the small small bio micro molecules will combine and form a polymeric structure which is nothing but bio macro molecules so we will study in detail about the structure of uh, polysaccharide we will study in detail about the structure of protein and we will study in detail about the structure of nucleic acid okay in the next video one by one we will study in detail about all the bio macromolecular structures